Good afternoon. Am I audible to you? Hello. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, will you be our teacher for today? Yes. Okay, okay. Very good afternoon. I think it's good evening, <laughs> to be precise. <laughs> okay, not an issue. I think I will wait for everyone to join, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Not, a mess, not an issue. Okay, one question. Uh, should we carry some, you know, notebooks and uh, book of being the subject? Should we keep it by our side? Uh, you can uh, carry a notebook and a mm -hmm. pen to uh -huh. write something. Uh -huh. Notes, you will give some notes, right? Uh, I am giving you the slide presentations. You okay. can screenshot that slides. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then. Okay. Okay, I will just, you know, keep the books and our uh, notebook also beside me. Okay. Let me grab that thing. Our topic, today's topic is uh, from BBYCT 131, that is block 2, algae. Okay, uh, now I am start my class. Uh, just a minute, I am presenting my screen first. Is it visible to everyone? Yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yes. Okay. Our topic is algae. It's a vast topic and it is a very short time span to cover everything. Okay, just uh, I will discuss briefly, uh, just a minute, someone is uh, I will talk it briefly, but uh, the main points are in the slides, you can take the screenshots for your further study. Okay. Uh, this is the objective of the block two, that is the cellular and organization characteristics in algae, range of thallus, reproduction and life cycle of the algae, and the different life cycles uh, of the, the various groups and the habit distribution and the importance, that is the economic importance and the negative use aspects of the algae. The study of algae is called phycology. What is the meaning of phycology? Phycos means the seaweed. Uh, mainly the sea algae, that the sea uh, marine algae, uh, the word is coming. That is phycos. Logos means the study of the uh, subject. So the phycology or the algology is the study of algae is called phycology or algology. Uh, the algae has different uh, variations in their habit, habitat, and morphology, and also in the reproduction and their life cycle. They found in different habitats, 
like it's maybe fresh water or it may be in rocks or it may be in marine environment uh, different um, kinds of algae are found some of algae uh, shows the symbiotic associations with fungi which is known as lichen Now, what is the classification of algae? Different classes are there. That is from green algae, which is known as chlorophyce. Uh, they have the different types of pigments, the different types of flagella and their reserve foods. You have to learn this chart for your uh, studying purpose because it is a very important thing. Uh, there is different types of chlorophyll is there in different groups. Suppose in Bacillariophysis, uh, there is the chlorophyll A and the C is there, not the chlorophyll B. But in case of chlorophyce, it is chlor chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B and there's some other pigments which is called associated pigment or asso associated pigments like carotenoids and xanthophyll are also found in chlorophyce. Uh, in case of brown algae, suppose pheophyce, there is also the chlorophyll A and C and the xanthophylls, but reserve foods are different in different groups. Uh, in case of chlorophyce, it is starch, but in case of pheophyce, it is laminarin, starch, and fats. In case of rhodophyce, suppose uh, this is rhodophyce, just I am taking the pointer. Uh, this is rhodophyce. Rhodophyce, where the chlorophyll A and phycoerythrin is there, uh, and the reserve food is Floridian starch. You have to learn the uh, reserve foods and their pigments in different class. Then it is habit and habitats. That means they may be found in free floating, or it's in the attached in the bottom in shallow water or it may be found in the stones. So where it is found? Some aquatic algae example, Chlamydomonas terrestrial, that means which is uh, grown on the land. Aerophytes, that is, which is grown in the uh, epiphytic, uh, that means not in like, aero, um, uh, that means in uh, epiphytic conditions, not in the land. Uh, next is cryophytes, cryophytes which is found in the mainly in the um, I, mainly in the Iceland where the snows are deposited. Uh, next is thermophytes which is found in the hot spring, and some unusual habitats also found in different algae. Algal association, algae have different associations. It associated with plants, it may be associated with animals and symbiotic. What is the association? Suppose in case of algae with plants, uh, you know, so one T um, pathogen is cephalurus. Cephalurus is an algae, is an algae which is a pathogen of tea. Uh, in the tea garden, we found this type of algae which is create the um, disease of tea. In case of animal association, uh, zoo chlorella. Chlorella is associated with some aquatic animals, which is known as zoo chlorella. And the symbiotic association, that is the lichen, is the symbiotic association where the algae is associated with fungi that is the mutualistic association and forms a new group that is lichen. Then ecological significance of algae. Ecological significance means the ecological impact of algae. First one is nitrogen fixation. Some of the algae 
the blue green algae which is known as cyanophyce or cyanobacteria which have the capacity of fixing nitrogen from the air um, you know we cannot fix the atmospheric nitrogen directly but the some bacteria and some algae can fix the atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia which is very necessary for plant growth so the cyanobacteria or the cyanophyce or the blue green algae they can fix the nitrogen from the atmospheric uh, from the atmosphere next is carbon sequestrations that is uh, you know the maximum uh, when algae is photosynthetic so they can produce their own food and they uh, mainly they produce the whole uh, maximum amount of carbohydrate from uh, by photosynthesis next diatomite diatom is a one type of algae which is bacillarophyce Uh, which is a marine algae they can deposit in the uh, when they are uh, dead they can deposit in the mar marine environment and forms a, a material which is known as diatomite which is very helpful for different things uh, we can create dynamite also from the diatomite effect of algae on soil fertility and structure already i have discussed the soil fertility portion because nitrogen fixers are very uh, important for soil fertility if the algae suppose nostoc or anabina which are the cyanobacteria or cyanophyce or blue green algae they can directly they can directly fix the nitrogen and um, convert it into ammonia which is helpful for plant growth next is waste water and sewage treatment sometimes it uh, ami over already pori abar bolbo waste water and sewage treatment also some algae are helpful for the treatment of waste water next is algal blooms this is the harmful effect of algae and last one is toxic effects of algae it is also a harmful effect of algae this is a picture of two algae one is prokaryotic and another is eukaryotic in the left hand side the figure is showing no, the no presentation is not showing it's not showing no ma'am i think someone just you know shared the uh just a minute yes. i'm checking momita vaidya miss momita vaidya just a minute i am checking now it's visible yes, yes ma'am ma okay ma'am uh, a little bit in you know, a question uh, okay yeah this right are we going to you know screenshot or they are recorded for a future purpose both you can do okay in the website right Uh, for uh, i can't follow your for website i mean where where we will you get you know get this recording That's you cannot get this recording you cannot okay. if you want to record in your own you can acha uh, i mean in future if i need to for official purpose this is the uh, this recording is for hmm. official purpose not for students okay okay i mean this class can you get access in future how 
I don't know. I mean, uh, you ask the Igno office. Uh, okay. You, they can provide you, but I can't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not a problem. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, this is the figure of prokaryotic algae, and uh, just a minute. And this is the figure of eukaryotic algae. Uh, what is the difference between them? The prokaryotic one. Uh, the who are the prokaryotes? The, only the cyanophyce or the blue green algae are the prokaryotes, and other than other groups, all are eukaryotic algae. Only the cyanophyce or blue green algae. So it is also called the cyanobacteria because it is very much resemble to bacteria. Someone they called it is a bacteria, someone called it a algae because they can photosynthesize. So uh, we uh, take this on uh, the division algae, but you can it on the bacteria also. This one is the prokaryotic one. And this is the eukaryotic one. We know very much well that is the prokaryotic organism do not possess any organelle, membrane bound organelle. Only the ribosomes are there. No membrane bound organelles are found. Here is no nucleus, but you see here, this is nucleus in eukaryotic one. The cell wall of prokaryotic one made up of mainly peptidoglycan and lipopolysaccharides. But in eukaryotic one, we, uh, everybody knows the cell wall is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, because eukaryotic cell wall is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, suberin, lignin, etc. But in prokaryote, there is peptidoglycan. The cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan and lipopolysaccharides. The cell organelles are absent in prokaryotes, but all the types of organelles are found in the eukaryotic one. In prokaryotic one, there is no flagella. Is there in cyanobacteria? In case of eukaryotes, there may be flagella or may not be. There is the nucleic acids are scattered in the cytoplasm. But in case of eukaryotic one, the nucleic acids is bounded in the nucleus. Different organelles like Golgi apparatus, like chloroplast, different organelles are found in the eukaryotes, but it is not found in the prokaryotes. Everything is scattered in the cytoplasm. Uh, this is a structure which is known as heterocyst. It is very important for you. This structure is found in the cyanophyce or blue-green algae. It is a structure uh, look like a resting spore. Uh, you prepare yourself a short note about the heterocyst. It is a resting structure when the unfavorable conditions is there. Some cells uh, produce the heterocyst and this heterocyst uh, contains the nitrogenous enzymes which is responsible which is mainly responsible for nitrogen fixation okay uh, so the cyanobacteria or the blue green algae always fix the atmospheric nitrogen directly but in case of other groups of algae, they do not possess the nitrogenous enzyme. So they do not uh, produce the nitrogen. They do not convert the nitrogen to ammonia. 
Next is range of thallus. That is the thallus organization. This is a chart. Just uh, take the screenshot. It is very important. Uh, the classes is there. I'm showing the next slide. First one is unicellular motile. That means it is a unicellular organisms and have the flagella. They can move. Flagella is the um, or, organs which can help the which can help in motility. One type is unicellular motile. Uh, here in the previous slide, there is an example also. You take this screenshot. Next is unicellular non-motile. This is the unicellular cells, but there is no flagella. So this type of algae, uh, thallus is called unicellular non-motile types. Next is multicellular flagellated. These are the different cells. This is not the one cell. All this small uh, things are one cell and they create a colony. This type of thallus organization is called multicellular flagellated. All uh, algae forms a colony. This type of multicellular flagellated forms we can found in the wall box. Next is multicellular non-flagellated. That is also a colony, but there is no flagella. So they cannot swim. They cannot move. Next is palmeloid. Palmeloid is a stage where the organism can found in a mucilaginous mass. This four cell uh, in under a mucilaginous mass. So it is called palmeloid stage. Next is dendroid. It is like a tree-like structure. The algae is looks like a tree. So it is called dendroid. Next is filamentous. Filamentous are three types. Unbranched, branched and pseudobranched. Unbranched that is there is no branching. The filaments have no branching. Next is filaments branched. This is branching. And the pseudo branching that is false branching. Here you see the there is no uh, not like a branching. It is a false branching. In the in under microscope we can found this type of branching. It is false branching, not the true branching. Filamentous pseudo branch. It is uh, found in the uh, some members of the cyanophyceae. Next is heterotrichus. What is the meaning of hetero? Hetero means different. Trichus. Trichus means filaments. Heterotrichus. Two types of filaments is there. So it is called heterotrichus. Here it is a prostrate system and another is erect system. So two types of morphologically different types of tri um, trichome are found. Filaments are found. So it is called heterotrichus. It is found in Different algae, but uh, here it is ectocarpus. It is written as ectocarpus. Next is siphonus. What is siphonus? It is a uh, algae where the septation is absent. That is, here is the septation. So different cells are there. But here is one cell, unicellular, but multinucleate. That means uh, if we cut a section of this portion, we found this type of thing. Here is a hollow um, vacuole is there and the nucleus are present in the peripheral region. But there is no septation, no uh, cellular septation. So only one cell is there and the multinucleate. It is a siphonous cell. Next is uniaxial. That means one axis is there. It is found in the batrachospermum, other uh, algae also there, uniaxial. Next is multiaxial. That means two or more axis is there. It is multiaxial. We found it, it is in the polysiphonia. Next is parenchymatous. Just look like this thing. It is a algae or it is a leaf. 
look like a leaf, look like a plant. It is called parenchymatous. A single layer parenchymatous cells are there and look like a leaf. So it is called parenchymatous type. So these are the different types of thallus we can found in the algae. Now reproduction. Reproduction in algae is three different types. Number one is vegetative, number two is asexual, and number three is sexual. What is vegetative? Vegetative means, you know, any part detached from the uh, parent or parent plant and forms a new plant, then it is called vegetative. Then next is asexual. Asexual means if the reproduction occurs by spores, any spores, then it is called asexual. And sexual, where the matting of two gametes, then it is called sexual. This is the life cycle patterns we can found in algae, different groups of algae. Six different types of life cycle pattern we find in the algae. First one is haploid, haplontic. What is haplontic types? Here the main plant body is gametophytic. That means haploid plant body. Here male gametophyte and female gametophyte is there. That means two different plants. Both are haploid in nature. So they are called gametophytic plant. After the matting, they form the zygote that is diploid, then meiosis, then again it is a haploid plant. But then the haploid cycle is more elaborate than the diploid. So it is called haplontic. Next is diplontic, which is found fucus sargassum. Here it is found in Eulothrix or Chlamydomonas. Diplontic, where the main plant body is sporophytic. That means the main plant body is deployed. The plant body, main plant body is deployed. After reduction division, they form the gamete. And after fusion, they form the deployed zygote. This is the structure of the main plant, uh, main cycle is mainly deployed. So it is called diplontic. Next one is isomorphic. What is isomorphic? Isomorph means both of the uh, gametophytic and sporophytic cycle is equal. Here, the mitosis, then haploid cells, these haploid cells produce the gametophytes, the, then the gametophyte produce the gametes, and after the fusion, they produce the zygote, then the sporophytic plant body is produced. The both the part is elaborate. So it is called isomorphic, which is found in ectocarpus, vulva, etc. Next one is heteromorphic. Where the gametophytic phase is small, but sporophytic phase is elaborate. So it is called heteromorphic and the mor they are morphologically different. Gametophytic plant body is morphologically different from sporophytic one. Next is haplobiontic. Why it is haplobiontic? Because here the gametophytic plant body produce different stages after the fusion they produce carposporophyte and then uh, produce gametophyte so it is called haplobiontic then it is diplobiontic where the diploid plant body is more elaborate and the gametophytes are uh, normal but uh, the diploid phase is produced different things that is carposporophyte, tetrasporophyte, then the tetrasporophytes produce tetraspore. This tetraspore produce the gametophyte, male gametophyte and the female gametophyte. These six
six are different types of life cycle which we found in the algae. Let's, according to Robert Lee, Robert Lee, algae can be classified into four groups. Uh, these are group one, group two, and group three, and group four. Uh, what is the difference between the four groups? First one is group one, which is prokaryotic. Already I have said that prokaryotic algae is only the blue-green algae or the cyanophyta or the cyanophyce C, which contains chlorophyll A and phycobili proteins. That is C phycocyanin and C phycoethrin. The two Phycobili proteins are phycocyanin and phycoerythrin. C phycocyanin and C phycoerythrin are found in the cyanophyce. Next one, the group two is eukaryotic algae. Eukaryotic algae with chloroplast surrounded by only by the two membrane of the chloroplast envelope. That is the algae, algal chloroplast is covered with two envelope. This, uh, they have the three divisions. First one is glaucophyta, next is rhodophyta, and third one is chlorophyta. Glaucophyta, algae that represent an intermediate position in the evolution of chloroplast. Photosynthesis is carried out by modified endosymbiotic blue-green algae. Rhodophyta, that is the red, red algae, where we found the chlorophyll A and chlorophyll G and the phycobili proteins, that is R phycocyanin and the R phycoerythrin. But there is no flagellated cell in their life cycle. Storage product is Floridian starch. Next is chlorophyta, that is the green algae. Green algae, where the chlorophyll A and B are found, and storage product is starch. Next is eukaryotic, the group 3 eukaryotic. It is also a eukaryotic algae, but here one membrane chloroplast is endoplasmic reticulum. First division is euglenophyta by euglenoids. Chlorophylls A and B are found. One flagellum with spiral row of fibrillar hairs. Proteinaceous pellicle in strips under the plasma membrane. Storage product is paramyelon. It is very important. Storage product is paramyelon. Next is dinophyta, which is also called dinoflagellate. It is a mesokaryotic nucleus. That means it, uh, it is the um, intermediate of prokaryotic and mes uh, eukaryotic one. Chlorophyll A and C1 is found. Next is division epicompexia. Heterotrophic flagellates with colorless plastids. That is, plastids are not colored. Next is group 4, eukaryotic algae. Eukaryotic algae with chloroplast surrounded by two membranes of chloroplast endoplasmic reticulum. That means two membrane of endoplasmic reticulum covered the chloroplast. Division, first division is cryptophyta. Next is heterocontophyta and third one is primnisiophyta. Uh, we mainly uh, re, uh, go through the heterocontophyta, not the cryptophyta and primnisiophyta. Heterocontophyta is very important for our study because we have a genus from heterocontophyta. Uh, anterior tin cell and posterior whiplus flagella. What is uh, whiplus and tin cell flagella? We have to know whiplash means smooth flagella and uh, flagella with hairs is called tin cell flagella. Comb-like structure is called tin cell. So it is called tin cell flagella because the flagella has hairs and chlorophyll A and C is found, fucoxanthin is found and the storage product usually chrysolaminar in. Fucoxanthin is a one type of pigment which is always found in the heterocontophyta. I'm not going to very detail because the time is short. 
now i am going to the main portion that is the genus first genus for you is nostoc the taxonomic position you have to learn the taxonomic position it is under the division of cyanophyta that is the blue green algae order nostocalis family nostocaceae and the genus is nostoc when you write in your copy like nostoc you should underline because it is a scientific name here it is italicized so i am not underlining this but when i am write in a, uh, in the copy always you must underline the genus name then occurrence nostoc is a filamentous algae where it is found it is found mainly aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats now this is the main structure of nostoc it occurs as a colony in which filaments called trichomes are embedded in a mucilaginous matrix this is a mucilaginous matrix where it is looks like a bead looks like a beads on a string this structure is heterocyst which is responsible for nitrogen fixation habit a typical colony of nostoc has numerous filaments that appear like appears like a Uh, strings on beads these filaments called trichomes vary, vary in length have a sheet of mucilage around it here is the mucilage is there uh, and uh, the membrane bound organelles are not found in nostoc because it is prokaryotes uh, the nucleic acids are scattered in the cytoplasm within the trichomes a uh, colorless empty look like cells here it is a colorless cell which is known as heterocyst which is responsible for nitrogen fixation this is the structure of internal structure of nostoc cell and uh, here is uh, dna is scattered here the cell wall is thick it is made up of peptidoglycan and the uh, mm, uh other ribosomes are scattered here and other uh, gas vacuoles are found some cyanophycin granules are uh, found in the cells reproduction because it is a prokaryote so there is no sexual or asexual reproduction they only have the vegetative one and the vegetative reproduction only by the hormogonium Uh, when trichomes break at, break at the junction of heterocyst and vegetative cell the fragment forms is called hormogonium it slips out of the parent colony and divides to form new colonies that means when a part is detached from the parent uh, parent filament or uh, parent trichomes the part is known as hormogonium this when uh, under favorable condition this hormogonium germinate and forms a new strings this is all about the nostoc they also produce akinets and endospore akinets is the resting spores and you also know uh, in the bacteria classes in the previous class i also um, go through the endospores you know endospores are found in bacteria it is also found in nostoc also next is chlamydomonas Clam hello hello yeah ma'am can you please uh, show us how to write the you know you, you said underline the genus name and scientific name uh, suppose you write chlamydomonas and then you mm -hmm. underline this okay uh, the okay. first letter is always capital then it's okay. running and if you write the species name mm -hmm. um, then you write in small letters and mm -hmm. underline also okay. okay okay separately separately okay thank you welcome our uh, division is chlorophyta that is green algae class chlorophyce order volvocalis you have to learn it because it's kichu korar nei ar ki just uh, you have to learn a uh, family chlamydomonas c and the genus is chlamydomonas 
occurrence the family chlamydomonidaceae comprises unicellular uh, i have already uh, giving you the slides just a minute i'm showing you the slide the unicellular one unicellular motile one this is unicellular motile one this is the structure of chlamydomonas The family Chlamydomonas is a unicellular motile algae with a distinct cell wall. Here is a distinct cell wall and a carp shaped chloroplast. This is the carp shaped chloroplast which is found in the Chlamydomonas. It is always found in pond, rivers. Uh, habit Chlamydomonas is one of the most primitive ones. Because it is not the advanced one, it is a eukaryotic algae, but it is a primitive one. It is oval shaped, unicellular, motile with two flagella, one flagella and two flagella. In the anterior end, it is uh, they have the flagella. A prominent carp shaped chloroplast is there. Within the chloroplast, a pyrenoid is found. A red eye spot or stigma act as a photoreceptor. Here uh, we find the photoreceptor. Um, there is not visible in the figure, but uh, in other in other figure we can find the red eye also, which is act as a photoreceptor, which um, which uh, receive the light and and do the photosynthesis they have two anteriorly located v plus type that means the smooth one the flagella is smooth not the uh, hairy flagella reproduction chlamydomonas reproduce by two methods that is the asexual as well as the sexual method not the vegetative asexual methods by two types of asexual methods by juspore or by pamaloid stage what is juspores the motile spores are called juspores okay uh, first uh, these are formed under favorable condition from vegetative cell that loses motility by retracting flagella they remove their flagella and uh, they are resting in condition the protoplast divide longitudinally and after successive divisions forms numerous daughter protoplasm that eventually develop flagella on their own. This is the uh, chlamydomonas cell which uh, divides and redivides forms daughter cells which ultimately produce flagella. This is the type of a sexual reproduction and what is the pamaloid stage when the unfavorable conditions is there they lose their flagella and forms a mucilaginous mass where they embedded and when the favorable condition is there this they remove from this mucilaginous mass and forms the motile cell next sexual reproduction what is sexual reproduction that means the fusion of two gametes when they uh, create the sexual reproduction there is some conditions when the low nitrogen is there nutrient deficiency is there then they can do the sexual reproduction Clama abdominas show three types of sexual reproduction that is isogamy an isogamy and oogamy what is the meaning of isogamy iso means similar type similar size similar shape that is isogamy when the gametes are similar in size similar in shape similar in form then it they uh, if they matting to each other then it is called isogamous type here uh, is the picture of isogamous type here the male is plus and the female is minus when they 
matting with each other the forms the zygote the zygote after reduction division that is the meiosis they forms the daughter cells the daughter cell is now act as a new one next is anisogamy am i anisogamy is nothing that is the male gamete is smaller and the female gametes is larger if the sm small gamete that is the male gametes is fused with the female gametes then it is called anisogamy next one is zoogamy what is zoogamy in chlamydomonas coccifera shows zoogamous type of sexual reproduction male cell produce 16 biflagellate microspores and female cells round off to produce a single large macro gamete this is the structure where one cell act as a microsporangia and form 16 micro gametes that is male gametes which is smaller in size and the one cell act as a macro gametes that is the female one when this micro gamete fuse with the macro gamete produce the zygote after the reduction division the zygote produce new cells this is the life cycle of chlamydomonas just uh, see this chlamydomonas gametes fusion fertilization zygote meiosis zoospores forms in the asexual one and then chlamydomonas next is eudogonium this is the structure of eudogonium filament this is a elaborate one uh, first you found the taxonomic position the eudogonium also the division of chlorophyta that is also from the green algae class chlorophyce order eudogonialis uh, the spelling you uh, carefully check the e do o not edio and the uh, pronunciation is eudogonium not eudogonium genus eudogonium and the family is eudogoniaceae and the genus is eudogonium uh, you must careful about the spelling because it is a scientific name occurrence order eudogonialis comprise of groups of green algae that are filamentous and occur in fresh water preferably standing the genus eudogonium is a fresh water alga occurring in ponds streams and lakes that is that means it's found in the fresh water not in the marine system mainly it is found in standing water that means in the pond in lakes plants are upright and they are attached to the substratum such as rocks or mud they also occurs in epiphytes epiphytes means when the plants grow on another plants then it is called epiphytes on other algae or aquatic plants habits the thallus is an abundant filament that is attached to the substratum by a special cell known as hold fast just we see this is hold fast by this this cell they can attach with the substratum cells of the filament are cylindrical with a thin plasma membrane cytoplasm and single parietal nucleus you see this is the cell where is nucleus and this is the reticulate types of chloroplast which is found in the just a minute the time is so short and i don't know how can i cover all the things just a minute reticular type of chloroplast is found and the chloroplast contains pyrenoids also as like chlamydomonas 
they have the cell which is called the cap cells which have the apical caps uh, just you take the screenshot because i am not going everything um, elaborately uh, there is some steps how they cell uh, the eugonia cell divides the uh, they divides in following steps first the nucleus uh, divide uh, nucleus is of the cell divides and moves to the center and uh, from the periphery and then the uh, ring like structure is formed in the wall the ring increases in thickness and forms groove like structures simultaneously the nucleus move upward and divides cell elongates to almost double of its original size the distal half of the cell has membrane obtained from the stretching of the ring after cytoplasmic division and wall formation two daughter cells are produced next is reproduction uh, eudogonium reproduces by vegetative asexual as well as sexual methods that means they have the three types of uh, reproduction first one is vegetative reproduction it is only by the fragmentation that means filament is detached from the parent and the new filament is act as a, um, a daughter one next is sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is occurred by the zoospores and actinids how this it is formed this cell is act as a zoosporangium then this whole mass is act as a emerging juice spores this juice spores have the flagella in the apical spore position that is small flagellas are there this type of flagella are called stephanoconch after uh, the favorable uh, when the favorable condition is there this juice spore germinate and forms the new plant body akinate is also a thick walled resting spores when the unfavorable condition is overcome then the this akinate that is the thick wall resting structure is um ultimately germinate and forms the new vegetative filament next is sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is in eudogonium is a uh, complicated one there is uh, the sex organs is known as gametangia. Uh, there are two types of sex organs uh, are found. That is the macrondus type and the nanondus type. In macrondus species are one in which antheridia are born on the filament of normal size. In case of nanondus, there is uh, the antheridia develop in a reduced filament which is called nanandrium or dwarf males where it forms the antherozoids the juice pore produced by an nanandra species are small and are called androspores which are born on the androsporangia androsporangia are produced singly or flat cylindrical discoid cell that resemble antheridia but are larger in size uh, i'm going in the next slide to show the this is a nanandria one this is the uogonium this this cells is called dwarf mel where the antherozoids are produced this and and in within the antheridium antherozoids are produced this antherozoids fertilize the egg within the ovogonium. Then the zygote is produced. The zygote by meiosis or reduction division forms the forms the juice spores. This juice spore after germination produce the new plant body. This is the life cycle of idogonium. This is the macrandus one and it is a nanandrus one. In case of macrandus, it is a simple one because the filament produce antheridium and ovogonium. The antheridium produce antherozoids or the male gametes, 
which fuse with the egg and forms the zygote. And zygote after meiosis forms zoospores and germinate and new plant bodies occur. But in case of nanandrus, it is first androsporangium is produced where the androspores are produced. Then this androspores are germinate in the wall of the uogonium. This is the wall where the nanandrium or the dwarf male is produced, where the antheridium is produced. Within the antheridium, antherozoids are produced. These antherozoids fertilize with the egg and forms zygote. Um, you got my point, the difference between macrandus and anandrus? Is it clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, the Next dwarf is uh, male uh, is a... Dwarf male is produced in the ovonium wall or the supplementary cell of the ovonium. But in case of macrandus, the male, uh, the antheridium is developed in a, a filament and ovonium is developed in another filament. But in case of nanandrium, the androsporangium is formed first. The androsporangium is produced androspores. These androspores germinate in the wall of the ovonium or the suffolatory cell of the ovonium and produce the dwarf male filament. This dwarf male filament is also called nanandrium. Within the nanandrium, the antheridium is developed. Within the antheridium, the antherozoids is produced. The antherozoids uh, fertilize the egg and forms the zygote. This is the difference between the macrandus to nanandrus. Now it's clear. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think I am going hurriedly. <laughs> yes, I absolutely. Have, <laughs> I, have, I have no option at all. So because uh, we also asked, don't have. Uh, so so. We are going to very fast. Uh, next is Vaukeria. You have so many genus and I am going very hurriedly. Uh, this is from the heterocontophyta. Uh, already I have told the heterocontophyta is an important division. Uh, the class is Xanthophyce or the Vaukerialis genus Vaukeria. Already, I have seen. Uh, we have seen the Vaukeria uh, in the thallus organization. The genus Vaukeria is found abundantly in the temperate region of the world. It is found in the range of habitats, terrestrial as well as freshwater. The thallus made up of cylindrical or tubular filaments. This is cylindrical or tubular filaments. There is no septation. That means the uh, uh, only unicellular, not the multicellular, but the organism is multinucleate. So the filament is called sinocytic. Sinocytic. Uh, this is not coinocytic. This is uh, pronounced as sinocytic. When the nu many nucleus is found in a filament or in a cell, then it is called sinocytic. There is no septa in the filament. So there is only one cell, not the many cell. Uh, only separation is occurred when the reproductive structure is formed or in case of any injury, then it is uh, separation is occurred. Here is a separation because it is a sex organs, anthridium. And the cell contains nuclei, chloroplast, mitochondria, and uh, different organelles because it is a eukaryotic one. And then reproduction. Reproduction in Vaukeria is three types. That is vegetative, asexual, and sexual. Vegetative reproduction as well as by fragmentation, that is the detachment of the any part and act as a new filament. Next is asexual. Asexual by sporangia, that is the do sporangia. Uh, you find this uh, here is a septation in the filament and the total mass act as a spore, uh, juice force 
So it is called synergospor. Synergospor, but synergospor. This when the synergospor germinate forms the new plant body. Next is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is of oogamous type. Oogamous that means the male sex organs are smaller in size, and they are motile and the female organ is larger in size and non motile this is oogamous type here a uh, filament bent like this and forms act as a antheridium here is the septation and oogenium looks like a um, uh, look like a oval separate structure or pure separate structure um, in the antheridium, here the small antherozoids are produced, which is biflagellate. This antherozoid from this uh, antheridium, one of the antherozoid fuses with the egg and forms the zygote. Zygote, uh, after breast, they germinate and produce the new filament. Uh, in Valkyria, this is the life cycle of Valkyria. In, in Valkyria, we can found two types of plant body. This is N, that means the plant body is gametophytic. This is 2N, the plant body is uh, sporophytic. Here, the life cycle, the difference between the sporophytic and gametophytic one. Here, the gametophytic plant body produced directly antheridium and wogonium. And within the antheridium, they produce the antherozoids. And within the organium, ovum is produced, antherozoids fuse with the egg and forms the zygote. After then the zygote is the deployed, then it is meiosis, then the gametophytic plant body is produced. But in case of deployed one, that is in case of sporophytic one, here the antheridium and ovogonium both are both are deployed. Here it is haploid, it is diploid. After meiosis, they produce the anther antherozoids. Here it is wrongly written, antheridium not. This is antherozoids. And oogonium is, after meiosis, produce the ovum, that is the egg. After the fusion, they produce zygote, and this zygote, by division, division produce the plant body, diploid one. Next is fucus. Fucus also from the heterocontophyta, class Pheophyce, order Fucalis, family Fucaci, and the Fucus is the genus. Uh, this is look like a leaf. Uh, already we have seen in the Thalas organization, that is parenchymatous type. Uh, the occurrence is it is an aquatic one, and it is found in the seashore on the rocks. Uh, and they have the slippery nature habit. The thallus is differentiated into basal hold first. This is the basal hold first by which they attached with the substratum. And the main plant body is like a frond, that is like a leaf. Ribbon-like structure is found. It looks like a leaf. If we cut this portion, that is the transverse section, we can found this type of tissue system is there. This tissue system are uh, differentiated into three zones. First is meristoderm or the palisade layer. The upper and lower meristoderm is a single layer which have the chloroplast. And within this, um, thin wall to parenchymatous cells which is from the cortex and the last is the in the middle central region there is the medulla which is narrow elong, made up of narrow elongated cells then reproduction fucus reproduces by vegetative and sexual methods but asexual reproduction is totally absent in fucus fucus it Asexual reproduction power there na. Ek dam mathar mudhe dhuke na. Vegetative reproduction as well. Shabshumai jarakom. It is by fragmentation. Next is 
sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is wogamas type that is the male sex organs and the female sexual organs are different in size uh, sexual reproduction sexual reproduction uh, sex organs are produced in specialized branches that are called receptacles uh, this, uh, this is the receptacles ones these are the receptacles but here it not uh, labeled these uh, these have the cavity like structure called conceptacles which bears the sex organs antheridia and the wogonia conceptacles are oval structure having a pore called ostiole the cavity of the conceptacles have a lining of sterile cells called the fertile sheath and uh, these give rise to long hair like branched or unbranched filaments called paraphyses you look here this is paraphyses hair like structure this is the structure of conceptacle this is ostiole which is the opening here it is written as opening within this the sex organs are developed this is the male sex organs and that is the antheridia and here the round shaped structure that is the wogonia within uh, the wogonia egg cells are produced and here it is antheridia the anthrozoids are produced antheridia are stalk unicellular oval structure born on paraphyses and uh, the wogonium is also stalk one celled and oval shaped structure wogonia mother cell divides meiotically and produce the eight egg cells sperms and egg cells are released as clams and are called as sperm and egg bladders respectively fertilization in fucus takes place in open sea and hence is known as external fertilization not the internal fertilization always we have learned the internal type this is a exceptional characters of fucus because here egg cells also uh, release from the wogonium the attraction of sperms towards the egg is facilitated by fucoseritin which attracts the sperms to the egg and ultimately sperms fertilize the egg and forms the zygote this is the life cycle the fucus is a sporophytic plant that is the diploid one within the receptacles the male conceptacles and female conceptacles where the antheridia and wogonia are developed antheridia after meiosis produce anthrozoids wogonia after meiosis produce ova both are released in the water sea water and then fertilize and forms the zygote this zygote is ultimately produce embryo this is a advanced one so we can found embryo also then the embryo ultimately produce sporophytic plant body next is polysiphonia which is from the rhodophyce or the red algae class rhodophyce subclass floridae order ceremiales family rhodomelesi and the genus is polysiphonia polysiphonia is a multi axial type that means they have the two or more axes in their plant body and the sex organs develop in the special type of branches that is called trichoblast okay uh, the reproduction sexual reproduction is wogamas type polysiphonia is represented as three different morphological forms in the life cycle that is gametophyte carposporophyte and tetrasporophyte it is a complicated one but uh, i'm trying to cover this uh, there is no a uh, sexual and uh, vegetative one uh, three types of plant body is there that is gametophyte that is the n then carposporophyte then tetrasporophyte within the gametophytic plant body the sex organ develops that is spermatangia and carpogonia the spermatangia is the 
uh, male sex organs and carpogonia is the female sex organs uh, where the male that is uh, male gametes are produced in the spermatia which fertilize uh, the egg cell and produce the carpogonium the carpogonium has a vaginal swollen region that houses of egg cell the upper region of the carpogonium is narrow and elongated which is called trichogyne spermatia move through the trichogyne and reach the base of trichogyne when they fuse with the egg cell and forms the diploid zygote this diploid zygote after division and redivision by post fertilization changes forms the carpos which forms the diploid carpos pos this carpos pos um after germination forms the tetrasporophyte within the tetrasporophyte the meiosis is occur and the forms the tetras uh, forms the uh, tetraspore uh, tetraspore after germination forms the gametophytic plant body this is the structure uh, first we have learned the uh, life cycle here is the gamete uh, plant body this is the carpospore then carposporangia carposporophyte uh, here is the tetrasporangia meiosis tetraspore and then the male gametophyte female gametophyte spermatangia spermatang and carpogonia egg and spermatia are produced which fertilize to forms zygote after germination they produce the carposporophyte the carposporophyte forms the carpospore and then the tetrasporophyte is formed okay this is the structure of different phases now the economic importance of algae algae have different economic importance first one is algae as food uh, in japan china there is a uh, many uh, dishes they prepare many dishes from different types of algae uh, you already know the um, japanese item that is um, sushi 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 is mainly made up of uh, laminaria or sheet of the algae they use the uh, rice and the different uh, algae sheet uh, it's a very uh, tasty food of japan uh, another uh, they have the kombu and the anori anori is made up of from uh, algae is monostroma kombu from laminaria anori from the porphyria uh, these are the tif different types of food uh, which is made up of the algae. Next is algae as fodder. Fodder in different uh, country, they are used as a uh, food of cattle. Next is algae in fish culture, that is in uh, marine system, that means in fish culture, uh, they use the algae as a food. Next, algae as a fertilizer, already have discussed the cyanobacteria have the capacity of fixing atmospheric nitrogen and they can in enrich the soil so we can use as fertilizer next reclamation of alkaline usual land next building of soil particle uh, binding of soil particles algae are um, important because they can bind the soils particles and some blue green algae also used as a um agent for uh, to prevent from the soil erosion uh, algae used in space research chlorella is used in the space research and then the commercial products you know agar 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 is used in the um practical purpose in microbiology or in um, that means in the Culture purpose, we use the agar. Agar is a solidifying agent, which is found from the some red algae, gelidium, brassillaria, chondrus, gigantina. Then is carrageenan. Carrageenan is used in the ice cream, shoe polish, uh, which is found from the chondrus. You have to learn the name of the algae. Uh, you, 
right in uh, we found carrageenan from algae it's not meaningful you have to write the name of the algae also next algene and algenic acids which is formed from the algae which is used in the salad cream custard jam um, and the textile industries diatomite already i have discussed the uh, diatoms that is from the bacillary of ic which is used in different purpose next medicinal use chlorella from the chlorella chlorelline is the is an antibiotic which is found from the chlorella next sewage disposal sewage consists of water borne domestic and industrial waste which is reach in dissolve of suspended organic and inorganic constituent but very poor in oxygen species of chlamydomonas cnidismus chlorella euglena are used in the sewage treatment because they have the photosynthetic capacity so they enrich the uh, water by oxygen next negative impact that is toxicity and parasitism different algae have different um, capacity of pathogenicity uh, they have the capacity of forming disease uh, cephalurus already have discussed it forms the red rust of tea fouling of marine vessels some sea weeds may grow on the metal hulls and woodwork of ships uh, ship and boats producing a corroding and destructive effect importance in municipal water supply sometimes some algae can clogging the uh, water pipelines they can change the ph carbon dioxide concentration uh, they forms different acids in the uh, ponds and or in the any water reservoirs so they can they have the negative impacts also this is all about of algae ma'am can you please show us uh, the first three uh, slides the table okay. chart that the thing just a minute ha sure. sure 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 you write your um, name and enrollment number in the uh, chat box okay. everybody okay. write your name and the enrollment number in your chat box uh, which one yeah this please. one yeah yeah this one this one okay you take a snapshot ha ha that's what i'm just going to done okay any question from your side any queries how many are of those important <laughs> you have to learn the genus you have to learn the genus because um okay genus is a uh, different genus is important um okay. in the previous years fucus i think the question from the fucus and the total life cycle of the fucus mm -hmm. uh, i think yeah, in the previous previous years but i know don't know the question will be change or not mm -hmm. okay, okay. Uh, please write your enrollment yes, yes, number yes i'm just writing and the uh, <clears throat> name hmm. sure everybody please write your name and enrollment number So, any question? 
No, till now, no question. But if any question in future arises, then what will you do? You can contact with me or you can contact with the center. You were from the I'm... Molan Azad Center? Yes. Okay. Then you can contact with the Molan Azad Center. Hmm. Then I will solve this. Okay. If um, it is from the another center, I cannot. Uh, in office, in office, Molan Azad College office, uh, center office, Ignu center office. Uh, you drop the questions or any problems, then I will solve this. Okay. Uh, in the mail? Uh, you can write in mail or you can go there also. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Ma'am, uh, what will be the next class in the next week? I don't know because uh, I have no schedule uh, <laughs> uh, at all. So I don't know. Uh, uh, in the previous okay. class, only uh, three participants is there in the previous uh, uh, previous uh, week. That is in the last week, last Saturday. Uh, only three participants are there, but I. Uh, but we didn't get any than... mail. Yeah, and yeah. uh, this is got, the first class. Got mail, uh, yeah, yeah, this is also my first class. We got mail after that, and I will join. Yeah. We oh. didn't get any mail or anything like that. This is our first class. I mean, we have been waiting for the whole year. We took in January. <laughs> And this is December. Ah. So, yeah, of course. Okay. If any question is uh, in your mind for future, uh, you uh, write your mail. Um, my name is Dr. Momita Dutta. Uh, okay. And uh, deposit there. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then. Stay uh, safe and healthy. Bye. You, I'm leaving okay. the meeting. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Good night, ma'am. Good night. Thank Good night. You, Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.